what other options do we have in this now? Expand the Burma Road. 60 days, it uses two civilian factories, but it doesn't directly help us. Radio propaganda. We gain base war support. That would help us. Okay, that would help us a bit. That's not a bad thing. Exhorting heroism. All right, that's nice. So we gain six months weekly war support. Lots of good options here. We need to get them all up because they, they all help. Okay. I need to be very careful with that. Anyway, let's see what we're going to end up with next. We get the cavalry over here. We kick these guys out, finally. Although they've had, like, ages to dig in, sadly. Events or decisions time out. The ace pilot promoted. Oh, hang on. Ace pilot promoted. Where is this? This has changed, hasn't it? It's not on this anymore. Where the hell do we... Where the hell do we find ace pilots from? And how do we do this? Can we do anything with it? Or is it just telling us? Do we not have to do anything? I've never fully understood that, how that works, since that has uh, changed. And I think it changed with... The new aircraft designer did it? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ace pilot promote. Is it just something to read? Or... It's just... Alright, it's nothing we have to do. That's fine then. Okay. I thought we had to uh, choose something or do something. If it's just telling us. I wish it wouldn't appear on like a, a, a decisions timeout warning. Because <clears throat> that makes you think you have to do something about it. Oh, Doctrine's available. Right, this is going to help if I can afford this. <laughs> I can't see us doing any of the other ones. Oh, Grand Battle Plan? We're on Mass Assault. Grand Battle Plan wouldn't actually be bad here. But we're on Mass Assault, and we should probably go down it because it's going to be cheapest. Non-combat, outer supply penalties, and supply grace. Is that all? It's not a bad thing, I guess. Yeah, I don't need to spend the experience, so let's let's unlock it directly. It doesn't really help us, um, not yet, anyway. But further down, it will. And I mean, mass assault is it is kind of fitting in character, isn't it, for China? I'd much rather go down one of the other trees. I think there's more exciting stuff in there, but. Uh, I think this is perhaps more fitting. Short on rubber and aluminium and steel. How's that going? It's okay. We have the factories in production. So this is looking quite cool now. Um, I think I should probably go for trucks. That seems to be the most urgent. We're slowly building up aircraft. Yeah, we need, we need trucks for everything. Absolutely everything, which means, yeah, aluminium, rubber, and steel. We can get our own aluminium, so that's not a problem. Well, it is, but it, later on it won't be a problem. In the short term, it's probably easy just to trade lots of civilian factories for it. Right, are we in position? Let's go for the cavalry. Come on. Let's, let's do that. And how long before you're ready to go? Division's still preparing. Shouldn't take long. I'll bring support in from the other guys as well. You're ready to go, right? Communist cell discovered in Henan. Uh, definitely send in the troops. Definitely send in the troops. Also, I've just noticed as well. We have options. So, we can't afford anyone else. First Lady of the Republic. 
Stability and war support will both help. As would that's this guy, but I think she would help more. Because that would give us political power gain, factory output, and it would give some general help on there, wouldn't it? However, we also got Chanot, didn't we? He is an aircraft designer. No, this is going to be the Camco stuff. All right, okay. And that's all medium stuff. Oh, I'm not really interested in medium stuff. Hmm. We don't want a chief of the Navy. We can't afford a military high command, although logistics would be good. I don't think there's anything else we want to really do there. We're not on war economy yet. Really? Did I not change that? Did something else change that down? I thought I changed to a war economy before. Hmm, interesting. Tank designers, aircraft designers, material designers. Which... Alright, so we don't have a lot of... We don't have a lot of great options in there at the moment. Um... We do need to go digging out communists. I do need political power as well, though. Reorganize the railway system. Oh, my God. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? But the four-month supply hub construction speed increased. I would have liked to have done that, but we, we wouldn't have had the... Oh, no, okay. We could have done it, and there's no, there's no cost to it. There's no political power cost to that. Interesting. States known with communist infiltration. We should send agents to confirm this so that we can strike against them. Counter infiltration sweep. Can I do anything? What about this? Right. Oh, God. Okay, so this is how you get rid of them. So I need infantry equipment stockpiled. I lose some command power. Get okay, that's fine. Okay, I need infantry equipment stockpiling. I need to put more stuff into this. How are we? Okay, it's not bad. It's nearly there. It's all right. That's what I've got to do. Uh, so I'm going to go for that first lady of the republic. I think. Right. So this is this is nice. Uh, what can we also build? I could go for anti-aircraft stuff. I don't know if it helps a lot. Does it Does it say in this? Because it used to only work against, um, as far as I'm aware, it only used to work against strategic bombing. But I wonder if it now works against things going after my logistics as well. Which could be a thing. Uh, the other options are infrastructure, of course, which is useful. Where's the steel supply? Kind of want to conquer that place, I think. Where's my steel supply? So if I put some infrastructure in there... What if I went whack? Oh, okay, I can only do... That's the maximum I can do. It gets me two steel, though. So I think I'll take it... Out of desperation. And that's maxed out anyway, isn't it? And it's, it's, is it civilian or military factories I want? I guess I need to trade, so... After that, we'll do a couple of civilian factories. We'll have one up there. Because these are gonna, probably going to be traded away. Right, that'll keep me busy for a bit. Right, cavalry, go. And we'll just send some supporting troops in as well. So it looks like they're going to do it. Which is good. Have we got another naval invasion? Yes, we have. Oh, crap. That didn't take long, did it? Oh, just so we get one dealt with. However, these are proper infantry divisions with engineers, AA, and artillery. And they're well dug in. So I would expect them to be able to hold against that. But we've got, well, we've got tanks. They're coming in with medium tanks. We need to fix everything. 
Uh, what was this? This is for factories. It was infantry equipment I wasn't. I wanted, wasn't it? Doing 107 a day, so four days. That should have improved. I'm going to do it. I'm going to stockpile that. We need to get the better infantry rifles made as well. Right, this is good. This is not working in their favour. But it doesn't give me an awful lot of time to get this fixed. You guys don't Come need on. to be kicking around down there. Invite flying tigers. Excellent. Let's put these in. So give me the details of this. Our friends in America have organized a volunteer group of pilots and bought a number of modern planes to support us. We just need to say so. Excellent. So that is exactly what we wanted. And this one would give us... Um, oh, is this all? It would give us a research bonus for reconnaissance companies and airborne technology. Well, reconnaissance companies. Okay, that's, that's good. It's not the instantly exciting thing I wanted, though. Chinese Expeditionary Force. I think they're good, though, so I'm going to keep up with this. Let's go... This is a... This is a road to something else that I want, and it's not instantly very good, but... Do you want to do that now, though? One off-map artillery factory, and that also gives us an off-map artillery factory. Um, Keep calling them artillery factories, military factories. And that gives me a load of research bonuses. Oh, that's for the... Oh, logistics and hospital. Okay, that's good. So those are all good. Okay. Nationalism. 10% stability. Straight in there. Looks good. Constitutional reform. 10% war support. Looks good. Uh, everything looks pretty good here. Oh my god. It's too hard to choose. No point in having such a huge stock of military factories if I can't build anything in them. Because I can't get the resources. So... Tempted to do that whilst we've got good relations with those guys, but at the same time, I'm going to go down here. I want to work towards that, that one. Right, okay, let's make sure we can kick this off. Let's move half to here, and the other half, if we can kindly see them, Should have jumped to here. Meanwhile, the cavalry cavalry is going in, and it is working. It's a long, hard fight, but they are doing it. Let's split up again. These guys are going to be in for a shock. Smash. Smash. So they didn't get into this place. Excellent. In fact, they gave up. These divisions are just melting away. If I had proper infantry divisions here, let's reinforce there. No, let's go that way, I think. Yep, another invasion thwarted. And the cavalry is about to snuff this out. Excellent. Divisions getting chopped up everywhere. That is what we like to see. Cool. Cool stuff. Uh, you guys can get on the train and go up here. And the cavalry can come with you. Try and use the cavalry to do the uh, final assault with. It's what they're there for. <laughs> Although we've got tanks in there. That could be interesting. What's this saying? Events are decision. Ace pilot. Uh, the Japanese have got all sorts of stuff up here. I saw some tanks somewhere. That looks extremely vulnerable there, doesn't it? Hmm. I'm starting to think I could mount some counter-attacks around here. 
We've got the big guns. Excellent. Excellent. And let's improve the AA guns as well. It's basically, the AA guns are anti-tank weapons at the moment. Two armoured divisions in there. Let's switch this over to some proper big stuff. 105mm artillery. Which we're going to need some extra factories in there before long. We're about to snuff out another invasion. What's the situation with the aircraft? Uh, they're losing. They are losing. Did... Just a minute. What's this thing about the flying tigers? Because they get the event, don't they? But do we have to trigger it? It said we just have to ask. Ask for docking rights, approve relations, non-aggression pact, negotiate licenses. Right, there's nothing there. So how do we trigger this? Or do we... I mean, we don't get to see anything, do we? I don't see anything. Our guys are doing the best they can over northern China. We will get better aircraft soon. Uh, was it an option in here? I didn't see anything about it. it said they got the event. So maybe... I don't know. I don't see anything about it. Maybe they have the option of sending them over. <clears throat> I wish they'd get on with it, though, if they're going to. Fate of Czechoslovakia. I think it's, yeah, it's all going bad in Europe. Very, very bad indeed. And the horse is in. Who shall we attack first? Let's go into there. Then we can also add in... Grit. Hang on. Construction 3. That's nice. That is nice. Speed things up. We are in 39. Uh, as much as I want the industry, I really want some better weapons. Got to play this game all day. Let's move up. Let us eradicate the ones we found. We need to do more communist raids. We're nearly at a 150 for the political power. I've got to do something when that kicks off. Excellent. Come on, cavalry. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. We have one of these. Um, artillery? Aircraft? Aircraft could be good. Trucks uh, coming up by themselves. Just more artillery everywhere would be so good. Yep, yeah, go on. Let's do that. Never have too much artillery. Right then, carry on that attack over there. I'm glad our proper infantry divisions held. I should have got them some experience as well. Oh, nice. This is up. Let's put. Oh, I'll tell you what. See, let's see what difference this makes. Uh, let's come to right. So this is currently at 64%. The consumer goods factory, well, factory output is at 5.8%. That's the one that we want. And this is giving us division attack of 3%. So that's kind of what we want to see. So it's 5.8 and 3. These are the numbers I'm interested in changing. We're going to put the first lady in. It's 5% of each, which is an instant bonus. So it's gone from... Oh, wow. Okay. It went from 5.8 to 8.4%. So that is 2 2.6% increase instantly. That is nice. And that went up to 4%. So, and the mobilization speed increased. Enemy bombing and casualties are causing some, some problems, but we've got some good stuff in there. Okay, right, okay. That was more of an improvement than I expected. So I am quite, quite happy with that. Just watching the time. We're gonna get this little little force wiped out and then we are going to uh, 
redeploy and we're going to re-strengthen this line up here. Actually, if I could advance one, get right behind that river, wouldn't that be awesome? Go on, cavalry, you can do it. You know, why am I sitting there? Let's get some experience on this. I was using the cavalry as a, like a, a rapid mobile deployment force. Don't know that they're... Apart from the fact that I built them with artillery, I don't know that they're all that great. Uh, nope, I don't think... I don't think you want to be moving over there, buddy. Still, they've definitely had their uses. And when we get enough trucks and stuff, we can one day, in the heady distant future, maybe go for some mobile infantry. Go on, everyone here should be joining in on this. Get some experience for free. Tempted to build a railway that just runs down here, but links things up a bit better. Tell you what I will do. Let's do this. Let's go into supplies. Let's boost that to a three. Get everything boosted actually because there's there's not enough um, supply flowing. That wants to be a two. Okay, let's get everything to a three. As long as this doesn't come in time just to uh, to rob the Japanese to make use of it, that's fine. Right, a few railway upgrades there. Let's face it, we need it. And I might choose to, to build another supply hub at some point. Now I've got that uh, decision I can, I can use, but there's no great rush for that now. Excellent, so... Let's get forces in position. And when you get there, get training. And also the cavalry, which doesn't need to train, so that's good. You go up as well. We're going to try and retake this, this bulge. I don't like this bulge. And we might even see if we can push it back to the river for extra defences. King Zog submits to Italy. That is Albania. This bit's held. That's fine. We're not getting supplies over there, though. Well, I guess we can't have everything. Although this looks ripe for a counter-attack around here. Can't resist it. I can't help myself from going in. We are going in. We're going to cut those off. That would be a much better defensive position. Tank divisions aren't generally great at defense. Mind you, infantry divisions with no anti-tank guns aren't generally great at attacking them either. I would have to bring some proper stuff up for that. Nationalism, here we go. So, got the options here. Just that was for more stability, right? There's a foreign threat, which would gain base war support, or there's prioritised the interior to gain base stability. And then it goes to the United Front. Uh, what does this do? Can create frac factions. Well, that would be skipped, wouldn't it? That would just be skipped. And if I go down this one, China demands subjugation. Integrate the warlords' decisions. I like the sound of that. Because they both lead on to this, which is kind of, well, kind of defunct by this point, but I think this one's still useful. Yeah, go on. I wanted to see what uh, I wanted to see what the Warlords one was. Let's give it a try. 
Can we actually do this without anything to hit them with? I mean, I am technically better off behind the river. I don't think I'm gaining anything there, am I? It's... I mean, what's the situation like? They are running out of um, cohesion. I guess it's an odd way of trying to destroy them by just bayonet charges. But if it works, if it works, I'm going to try and rapidly do that. And then these guys are in a world of hurt. And it might help our supply situation as well. I don't know that it's... Uh, I don't know if it's actually working, this. It's been at 92% the whole time. I think I'm going to call it off. I don't, I don't think it's actually working. We could try and tire them out, but I'd rather bring in something with some proper guns. This is just a defensive formation. It's not this, but it's not supposed to be doing that anyway. Right, infantry equipment. Brilliant. Before I forget. Communist infiltration in Henan. Let's remove them. Let's remove both of them. So that's take, that should have taken 2,000 equipment. I think we maybe just had to have it in stock by the looks of that then. It hasn't actually used it up. We just... Oh, no, it has. Something's used it up anyway. Here we go. No planning. Just blunt force trauma of wading in two stacks. Two angles. Uh, just massive numbers just to push them back. We've discovered a communist cell. Excellent. Get them out. Make sure this falls, by the way. The basic small airframe. Excellent. Now can we also have some... Oh, wait, hang on. I said we'd go basic on that, didn't we? And I, we have to. Because we have to get the more important things. That's coming on nicely. Uh, there's lots of things we could do here for 1939. The armour is distant gleam in my future eye. Uh, but we should be on industry. Okay, we need to get factories in the state, production, all that stuff going. Let's just uh, tidy this up here. And that would leave us in a very nice position, I think. We can get that done. And then we'll push into that bit as well. We'll get a good barrier behind the river. We'll give the Japanese something to think about redeploying troops to. Instead of planning naval invasions against me all the time. How are we doing? Italy's joined the German Reich. Should we have a quick look over in Europe? What's, what's, what's happened over there? Just a quick look. Anything? Slovakia, Poland. Okay, nothing's kicked off yet. Nothing as yet. This is about to fall, which is excellent. Maybe we'll carry on there. There. Uh, I guess, yeah, you guys, we don't need. Well, we don't need some guys. Redeploy, rebuild the uh, front line here. They're looking really weak. I feel like I can almost push it to the next river. For the moment, it is just a sneaky, cunning plan. So far, so good. Hmm, there's some proper elite troops there that are really experienced just from defending against Japanese attack. I'll have to be careful because going on the offensive like this will lose me some of that experience. Here comes another one. 
We've got two down here. Okay, I need to pull these guys back. But we also need to get in, so... Come on, never mind the anti-air upgrade. We need everything we've got. Thrown into there. Cuba. So from here... Uh, industry, isn't it? This industry stuff that we can urgently get. Uh, we've got to get all the production we can out of this. We do have some spare troops down here, but they're not very good. And if there's a risk that... Is this northern China? Okay, if that's those two, that's that's fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a big risk here and not pull the other troops back until we've got that place. It's nearly there. This is playing with... This is really playing with fire, isn't it? Okay, what have I got? I've got three guys here. Um, I'll probably try and occupy that. I'll move half of those forward. We've held the port, so, so that's good. I don't think I can do this. I don't think I can do this. Okay. It doesn't matter either, which is, which is the critical thing. It really doesn't matter. It was just going to be one of those things that would have been really good to have done. Let's do that. And then let's bring the cavalry down. And on that note, with a disaster looming down here, though probably we can avert it, potential opportunities up here that we just can't get the time and the resources together to take advantage of. We shall leave it there, I think. Uh, until tomorrow and then we shall be back let me know what you think of as always guys give me some pointers give me some suggestions give me your thoughts on my strategy so far and where we're going with this and what you think of the the china playthrough in the comments down below because, uh, i really want to know it's an interesting fight and it's about to get a whole lot more interesting when something goes horribly wrong here i strongly strongly suspect have we found Communist infiltration in Shandong. Yeah, keep on keep on going. We've got to dig those guys out. We know it's coming. So far, so good, though. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>